Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to find the difference between the column and the strut. There is some little difference between these two members. However, uh, these two are the compressor member used in the Seven Engineering structures. But in this lecture, I will define and explain their differences with diagram. So let's consider the first difference between these two members. The first difference is uh, the column is a compressor member is a compressor is a compressor member of frame structure of frame structure right while the strut is a compressor member it's also a compressor member compressor member but it's the compressor member of truss structure of truss structure so what's the difference between these two? It means that a uh, compressor member of frame structure, while it is the compressor member of truss structure. Uh, if I consider an example of diagram here, this is considered this is in three uh, multi-story building, like this. So it is these are the compressor member. These are the columns. But in this case, they are the compressor member of frame structure. This is the frame structure in which the beams and the columns and the slabs are there. So we call this type of structure as the frame structure. These are the columns, but these are the compressor members. But these are, in this case, these are the frame structure compressor members. So these are the compressor members, but in frame structures. While these are the compressor members in the truss structure. Like, for example, I consider it is in truss. So these are now the compressor members. These are always the compressor member, but in this case, these are in the truss structure. This is the truss structure. So these are also this strut. We call this compressor member in the truss is the strut. They are also the compressor member like the columns, but the main difference is uh, these are in the frame structure and these are in the truss structure. The second difference between these two is uh, is there that the effective length of the column effector length of the column is L of the column dividing by the uh, diameter of the column should always be greater than the three so we call this type of the uh, st uh, this type of the member is the column member is the compressor member or the column while in the case of the strut the effector length of the strut we can say effector length of the strut dividing by the diameter of the strut should be less than the three so we call this type of the member is the strut member like for example if consider this is a circular column so so the effector length this length effector length dividing by the diameter of the column so when this ratio comes out to be greater than the three we call as the column while when this consider this is the truss so when this when this member uh, length effector length this is the length of the member and this is for example consider the die of the member is like this one so when the length or the diameter is less than the three this ratio is less than the three we call as the strut member considering the third difference now uh, the third difference is that the column is subjected to the uh, axial forces axial forces it may be tensile or compressive forces to the bending moment to the bending moment uh, it uh, it's subjected to the uh, uh, eccentric moment as well as the buckling forces is the buckling forces is the shear forces and many other it's also subjected to the earthquake loading as well which is the lateral forces so while a distrut member uh, if you consider the strut member so strut member is only subjected to the axial forces and this axial force is only the compressor force it's only the compressor force and the truss member. So it's only the compressor forces, the type of the axial force is the compressor force and this member is only subjected to this kind of force while the column is subjected to many other forces like I explained this. But the fourth difference is that the column, uh, the, in the column, the loads are applied, the loads are applied the loads are applied anywhere throughout the column, anywhere 
throughout the column throughout the column like for example this is the column this is the column in any frame structure so uh, the load uh, may be applied like the literal loads like in this way or maybe in this way the vertical loads are uh, sometimes uh, the uh, it may be in in and the client loads are also applied on this member, on the column member. This is the column, the vertical members. While in the case of the strut, the loads are always applied. Loads are always applied at joint on the strut. For example, if this is the if this is the truss. Uh, and this is the truss and these are the uh, strut members so the loads are always applied on the joint of the strut these are the joint this is also the joint so it's always applied like the and the joint it can't be applied like in this way on the strut but it is always applied on the joint of the strut right so this is the uh, fourth difference between the column and the strut the fifth and the last difference between these two is that uh, the column is subjected to the gravity loading. The column is subjected, subjected uh, to the gravity loading, gravity loading, and it is designed for the gravity loading. While the strut is not subjected, not subjected to any gravity loading, subjected to any gravity loading. So this was the uh, some differences between the col column and strut. So for more videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel. I will upload daily civil engineering videos. Uh, thank you for watching our video.